let's take a look at some general functions of membrane proteins. Some of these proteins are involved in something called the extracellular matrix as anchor proteins. So what these proteins you'll see doing is anchoring components outside the cell to the cell to create a structure, which we refer to as the extracellular matrix. But there are some proteins in cell membranes that are enzymes. And we've seen some of these from the electron transport system, a series of complexes composed of proteins which function as redox enzymes. And of course, the F1, F0, ATP synthase is also an enzyme, albeit a very complex and regulated one. It has catalytic function. We will look at receptors. We'll see in a way that uh, glycophorin A is a kind of receptor. But more commonly, when we hear the word receptor, we mean a protein on the surface of a cell that recognizes a hormone that cannot get into the cell, and therefore is required to initiate information transfer from the signal, the hormone, to the cell. Receptors are also involved in cell recognition, cells being able to recognize one another, and also to not recognize one another, or at least not to come together. That's an example that we'll see in glycophorin A. There are passive transporters, or facilitated diffusion proteins, carrier proteins that allow molecules to enter or exit cells along or down their concentration gradient. And we've seen some of those. And active transport proteins. And we've seen that as well in the form of ion pumps. The proton pumps in the crystal membrane, those electron transport complexes, are in fact active transport molecules.